okay. All right, folks. All right, we continue in chapter 41. Chapter 41 in one word, Avoida, divine service. What do we explain? The beginning, the core, and the root of all divine service is not the love of God, but it is what we call the fear of God. Fear does not mean fear of punishment. We're going to give more precise definition of what that means today and forthcoming classes. What does it entail? But what we did explain is that there's a meditation that can bring us to that fear. Again, you know, the, I hate to use the word fear, and often I use the word awe, but we're going to see a distinction between fear and awe. Um, but fear is not about punishment. It's not about the consequence. It's, um, as we'll see more specifically, it's about meditating upon that God is the creator of heaven and earth. Everything he is master over. And he leaves all of that. That's not what his true interest is. He wants to be a king. He wants to be a king. Not for a day, but he wants to be a king over me, specifically. All those that choose him as a king, ultimately, the entire Jewish people, and ultimately from there, the extension to the entire world. That God is a king and he wants us to be his servant. And as we've mentioned previously, the human condition is that we want to be served. We want to enjoy life, so we want to have pleasure in life. So we do those things that are pleasurable, which is, of course, self-serving. The point of what God wants and creates this world for is that we should serve him. Why is a king? Why is a king? Because that implies a servant. A servant who will do Whatever it is, it's the wish of the king. Whatever the king needs, there for the king. Now, we'll, we're going to define this a little more, and we're going to see that that's only one side of the coin, or one wing. We'll, we'll see at the end of the class, you know, the, the balance, shall we say. But this is the beginning, the core, and the root of all divine service, is that there is a king that we are in service of. Jason, I see that you're uh, watching. And, oh, and my mother's watching. Oh, oh, it's been a while. Welcome aboard. Jason, if you want to give me your father's name, I, for, I forget it, and we'll do the learning in his merit in order that he should have a speedy recovery from uh, coronavirus. So if you can share that, that would be great. Mention his name and in his honor. So, um, so the beginning of, of divine service is this, um, this notion that God wants me to be his servant and to do, it can be menial tasks. Like just taking a coin, putting it into a charity box. It could be just, you know, a woman lighting her Shabbos candles. It could be a menial task, but... We're here in the service of. That is the basis of divine worship, as opposed to self-worship. Worshiping the pleasures that I want to have in life. Seeking those pleasures as they are an end in themselves. Now, let's, uh, we all like pleasures. <laughs> right? The question is, is, is that my, is that what I'm, you know, uh, my what I'm seeking for in life, then it's just, I'm just self oriented, of course. Ah, oh, we have Moshe Baruch Hakoyen Ben Zisel should have a speedy recovery. Uh, Rafoy Shlema, and uh, this learning will be in his merit and his honor that he should have a speedy recovery. Uh, so th that's the beginning uh, of all divine worship. I see my son Beryl is on. Welcome, Beryl. So now, in that fear, that sense of fear is an emotion. So the Alter Rebbe today is, elaborates on that notion. Now, when we say about an emotion, so what we have learned previously, an emotion can be expressed in two ways. 
one is palpable in the heart. In other words, you meditate upon the presence of God and God is looking upon you. Are you truly serving him as that servant and uh, as befitting the individual what we're capable of serving? Or am I slacking off? And God knows the inner hearts and thoughts that we have. And uh, when we think about that, that will prompt us to have a sense of fear. Again, not fear, and very important, very because I know we've been programmed by other faiths and other teachings, not Tanya, not Hasidus. We've been programmed to think, oh, consequence, I'm gonna get punished. It's not about punishment. It's about a truth, it's about a reality. We have another Rafua Shlema here for Shmuel ben Rachel Leia, bin Yaman ben Feig, Feigel, Feiga. Advar Leia bas Chana. They all need healing, okay? So, this uh, meditation is to bring us to the concept of fear. Now, again, fear can be palpable in the heart. Or, as we've learned, it can be just that we think about it in our mind. Now, so the alternative says, uh, think about it and have a fear, sort of a, a, a intellectual fear of God, as it were, right? Now, the alternative says, not all of us are capable of that. And the truth is, I would suggest most of us are not capable of having that sense of fear slash awe of God in our hearts or in our minds even. So then, and, and the reason is, because our souls come from the world of Asiya, which is the lowest letter level of worlds. And that's where most of our souls in our generation, by the way, come from. So the fact that, you know, you may pray as, as I do, um, and don't feel in your heart something palpable. In your mind, maybe you have a certain sense, but even then it's, it's fleeting. But the Alder Rebbe says, that, okay, that's okay because our souls originate from a lower level, which doesn't mean lesser important, as we've given the metaphor earlier in earlier classes, which we won't go through now, right? But nonetheless, the fact that you have an intent to serve God as a servant, I'm doing this in servitude to God. I'm praying. I'm doing this in servitude to God that I am uh, making my Pesach Seder. I'm doing this in servitude to God that I am um, giving charity. Then that is, as he calls it, avoid a a complete divine service. So he explains, because the truth is in the 613 commandments, there are two that are distinctive, that are similar but distinctive. One is called the fear of God and one is called the service of God. So the service of God you have by the fact that what is motivating you is to do it because that's what God wants you to do, right? He wants you to eat matzah on Pesach night, Seder night in Canada, as we call it here. Um, and he wants us to be charitable. He wants us to, you know, after the holidays to put on tefillin for women to light their, uh, their Shabbos candles and so on and so forth. And there's another mitzvah called fear of God. But the fact that we are doing it with the intent to serve him, then we fulfill that commandment of the 613, the service of God. Avaydah Sashem, avadatem is Hashem alakeicham, that you should serve God, the Lord your God. Now the, the alternative says, actually in further, that notion of wanting to serve him is also a, the idea of fear, that encompasses fear. Because at that moment, the fact that you're doing, because this is what God wants, that means the fear of heaven is upon you. Meaning that there is a sense of presence of God in your life that is changing the way you're acting because this is what God wants. It means, what do you mean that this is what God wants? It's, it means there's a presence. There's a notion of the presence of God that is changing your behavior because this is what he wants. That means God is present. Maybe not even as a king, just like a mortal person is present. And with this, he, the Alter Rebbe quotes from Rav Yechem ben Zakkai, who was a leader of the Jewish people in the times of the Second Holy Temple when it was destroyed. Uh, and upon his deathbed, he said to his students that I'm giving you a blessing. 
And what is that blessing? Maybe God's will that you fear heaven, just like you fear a human being. The student said, that's it? That's a low level. He said, no, 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 no. You know what happens when someone wants to do something wrong? What happens when you do it? You look this way, you look that way. I hope no one's watching when you know that it's wrong. If you don't know it's wrong is one thing, but if you know that something's wrong, you don't want to make, you want to make sure no one's watching. In other words, if someone was watching, that might stop you from doing something wrong. So if you know that God is watching, then that will stop you from doing something wrong. That's called the fear of God. That's divine service. That's the core root is that we know that there is an existence of God Almighty, not He's, uh, you know, a million miles away. As we mentioned earlier, He is, surrounds the world and is in, within the world. He's imminent. And He sees what I do, and He knows what's in my heart. And that's a reality. This is, Rabbi Yechon uh, tells his students, will ensure that you will not do something wrong, that you won't do any sin, because... And because you, it will hold you from refraining from doing the wrong thing. And the author explains that this is called the lower level of fear. There's a higher level of fear. So there's two levels. Yiri tata, yira ilo. The lower level of fear. And the higher is called, maybe we call it awe. Fear in the lower level is the presence of God. That there is a sense of him watching just like I know when someone's gonna watch me doing something that I know is wrong I will try to hide from them seeing it so if I have that notion that God is presence so that will help me to refrain from doing wrong things the higher level is a, um, a higher level is a sense of awe that God's presence is so palpable so real that I feel my smallness. That's of a higher level. So the first level has to come before we do a mitzvah. Because then we'll do the mitzvah appropriately. The second level comes as a result of doing mitzvahs appropriately. More on that we'll, we'll get to later. Now, the Alter Rebbe says, I mentioned this at the beginning, this is but one wing of a bird that allows a bird to fly, but a bird has two wings. And likewise, in our lives, we need two wings to help us, to help my mitzvah fly to, and stand before God, to fly to the divine attributes and to have an eternal, um, e uh, uh, an eternal impact. <laughs> so the one wing is serving God through this notion of fear. What is the fear? that there's a presence of God. It's not a presence that's making me, like, you know, you're standing in front of the Grand Canyon, wow, awesome. It's not awesome. All it is is a, uh, a notion in my mind that in that very moment that I had a thought to do something that was wrong, I will refrain because of that um, awareness of God's presence. But the Elder Rebbe says that that's only one wing. We need a, another wing. And what's that? Love. Love for God. We must do, be motivated by love, not just by fear. Fear is the beginning, the core, and the root of all divine service. But in order that my mitzvahs should truly have an eternal connection, um, I need to have the other wing to allow it to soar, my mitzvah, to be illuminated mitzvah. And that is the love of God, which is the idea of like a child there for their parent. A child is not there for their parent out of servitude in, in the true sense of what a child is. Of course, we could do it that way, right? And quite often we do do it that way, right? Because it's not motivated by love of a parent. But the metaphor of a real child who really loves their parent then is motivated to do for their parent out of love in order to, wanting to bond, right? And, and wanting to cleave to them. So this is the metaphor that we do the mitzvah um, with one side is the sense of presence of God, the fear, as we just explained. And the other side, the other wing, as it were, is that we have a love 
um, that wants that brings us to want to cleave to God. The fear brings us to refrain from doing what we shouldn't do, but will also bring us to do what we should do, not just refrain, but also to do what we need to do in life. Um, but we need to be like a child who serves their father, father in heaven, out of love, and also as a servant who serves their master out of fear and awe. Those are the two things that are necessary. Powerful idea. If we could live with this, folks, it's the truth. We will be different people. We will um, deal with our day, our life in a very different way as a result. Um, all right. So, we have Lee Orta with us. Thank you for joining. Batya from Montreal with David. Good morning and thank you for joining. Um, any questions? If you have any questions, great time now. Alinda from the Netherlands. Good afternoon. Um, who else? Tony's with us from Costa Rica. By the way, folks, as I've mentioned, um, for those who want more uh, of teachings that I will be providing, if you private message me your email, put you on the email list, um, please do so. Also a reminder of the daily Tanya that we have in one minute. Synopsis of everything we just learned in one minute. That's on Tanya Rabbi on Instagram, LinkedIn, and uh, and Twitter for the moment. More to come. Mark Luzata from Poland. Shalom. And Evid. Okay, I'm looking to see if any questions here. So, uh, Benjamin, for the Aliyah of the Nishama, the soul uh, of Mono Pastor yesterday from uh, COVID 19. Yeah, let me hear. Mona? Nona, I, I can't. Yeah, it looks like Nona. May soul go from strength to strength. Why? Clem from Brisbane, thank you for joining. Looking for any questions over here. All right, let's see, maybe I missed something. All right, folks, sharing is caring. Please share the Altered Rebbe's teachings with others. A good night to everybody. I'm Rabbi Ronnie Fine, coming to you from my home in Montreal, Canada. It's a privilege and a pleasure to share with you the Tanya. Have a great day. A good night.